Hey church family, just want to thank you so much for tuning in. Just know that we are praying for you. We've been thinking about you guys and we hope that everyone's doing well. But if for some reason you need a prayer request or if you just want to reach out to let us know that, that, that you're doing fine, please let us know. We would love to hear from you. But um, today what I want to share with you is back to the habit. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it's hard to break certain habits. You know, a couple years ago, my wife gave me an Xbox as a gift. Um, it was my first time ever getting an Xbox. I was unfamiliar with it. I've played it every once in a while at the stores or, or, or whenever I can, but this was the first time that I had an Xbox. Now, me personally, I'm a PlayStation person, all right? So for those of you that know the difference is the controllers are different. So me playing with this Xbox felt so different. It felt weird. It felt so weird to where I had to return the back because I kept on messing with the controllers. I kept on pushing the wrong buttons because I was so familiar to my PlayStation controller. And the things that I could do playing a video game, I couldn't do it with this controller because it just felt so weird because I wasn't used to it. And I'm reminded something about in, in the Bible in John 21, 1 through 9, towards the end of this, it says that um, Peter is telling the disciples, the rest of the disciples, I'm going fishing. And then if we're to, to read in verse 3, it says, the rest of them replied, we're going with you. But I want to stop here just for a couple of moments. And then why is it that in verse 3, Peter tells the disciples, he almost makes an announcement that I'm going fishing. You see, I believe that he's not announcing that he's hungry or that he's bored because he's going fishing. I believe that Peter is saying, I'm going back to what I used to be because I've lost all that I have. I lost the purpose and I have nothing else to do with my life. So I'm going back to what I'm used to, which is fishing. You know, the same is true for so many of us today. When we encounter failures, frustrations, or the unexpected, especially right now being stuck at home week three and we just don't know what else to do. It's like, what else? is there i've done so many home at home activities i've remodeled certain things I've, I've cleaned out the closets the closets it's like what else can we do right but like peter we go back to old habits relationships and lifestyles which only serve to subjugate all that god has done in our lives and during those moments that's whenever we need to remember what god has already done in your life and in my life, we needed to thank him. We need to give him uh, praise for what he's done and also thank him for the future, for what he's already doing, for what is going to happen because eventually we will get out of this and we will be able to meet together and have church, right? I, if that doesn't excite you, I cannot wait until the first day when all this is over because I know the church is going to be so packed and so busy. But it's not about what we do for God, but what God has already done for you and for me. We must understand that once we have him in our hearts, once we have Jesus Christ in our hearts, there is no way that we can go back to our old ways because he died for us so that we could live. He said that it was finished so that we can get started. So my question for you is, what are you doing? Think about this. What are you doing? God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of this week. God bless.